Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with... Larry Vella. And we're both from Bell Lost Holes, and we're taking a look today at the brand new uh, Forge Vein miniatures. We have the uh, Knight Armager Warglaive that, right here. That is, a, that is a mouthful. That is a mouthful. And we also have the Cryptek uh, with uh, Kinoptic Cloak, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But right now we're taking a look at the Armager. This one's got a lot of folks curious uh, in terms of size, in terms of scale, what's in the kit, all that fun stuff. There are two of these in the Forge Bane box. Mm -hmm. uh, so you actually get two kits, uh, you get double this, this number of these sprues. Yeah. But we're gonna take a close look at these. Uh, these are pretty exciting, so, um, man, where do you wanna start? I, let's start with uh, this part. This is the, the, mo <laughs> this is the most identif identifiable sprue. Yeah, uh, this is the top care piece uh, of, the, uh, of the model. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see there's lots of different weapon options. Uh, we can see here there's like a, a stubber and a uh -huh. melta gun. Yep. That actually goes on this little nub right here. So there's a there's a, a an additional weapon on top. Top yeah. mounted weapon. It's kind of cool. And overall, I mean, I think you know it'll be obvious looking at the sprues. This is very much the knight kit. Yes. Scaled down. Absolutely. It's very very similar. Uh, the sprues are laid out very very similar. It's just you know much. Yeah. A, a much smaller kit, much closer to what you would expect from like a Dreadnought or something. Yes, absolutely. Matter of fact, why don't we do this real fast? We actually have a knight here. We do have a knight. So I'm going to move these two sprues to the side, and these are actually connected. So we're going to move this to the side right here. And then we actually took the top off the knight off just our, to show. Off our Studio Imperial Knight. And yeah. there's the direct apples to apples comparisons yeah. of the top care pace piece yeah. of the Imperial Knight and the Warclave. And you can tell it's it's substantially smaller. It is, but at the same it's, time, I think one just think it's built based on the the legs and everything. I think mm -hmm. this is going to be about the size of say like a, a Redemptor Dread. I think so um, too. Yeah. I, yeah, it's going to be uh, bigger than a Contemptor Dreadnought. Yeah. And probably and right in the same kind of vein as the uh, as the new Primaris. Yeah. Dr uh, dread. Yeah. So that's just the top half. Just wanted to show that off. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a couple other things we can do some comparison wise. Uh, uh, in a minute, but let's just go ahead and uh, rotate the sprue and we'll zoom in nice and close. We can take a look at all the little bits. You can see it's got the same detail that we've come to expect. Um, all of the cool looking bits, uh, the, the little energy pack, of course, mm -hmm. down here. Yeah, this is the, the kind, kind of the, uh, yeah. the the rear core that goes directly on the back of the upper chassis. There's the bottom of the lower chassis, the top carapace. Uh, these are all your exhaust vents over mm -hmm. here. These are your top-mounted carapace weapons. They plug in here, and you have a choice of them. Like Adam yep. was saying, you have a, a melta slash heat based something. something, and then a heavy stubber, and then just general kind of gears and doodads over here. Yeah. All, the, all the random cabling. Yeah, and then on this side, it looks like we have the the feet here, a couple of joint uh, supports, and then the sides of the uh, of the top carapace. Yeah, the, the these I think are the arm cradles. Oh, that makes so sense. So they yeah. plug into these on the outside. Yeah, and yeah. then and then your 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 weapons plug into those. Very similar to the Imperial Knight if you've ever built an Imperial Knight. Yeah, yeah. And then just to flip it over real fast. Yep. You are gonna have some hollow parts, which is you know expected. Uh, fantastic detail here yeah. on the uh, the two side pieces. These are the sides of the carapace uh, that the uh, that the uh, kind of arm cradles plug yeah. into here and here. And you can see these things have uh, these are the sides that actually face out. So they yeah, have crazy those, detail and all kinds of really great detail in here. So There's just fun like little, fun little doodads and circuits and and whatnot. Going yeah, on very there, so. very much just like the Imperial Knight, but yeah. but scaled down. Scaled down. Shockingly enough. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the next route. Let's do the legs real fast. All right. Pull this guy off. Yeah. And here's here's just the leg bits. Um, you can kind of see, again, we have our knight. Um, I'm going to try to get this framed up here. Um, but you can kind of see... Let me take that gun off real fast. Our knight can be modular. So just to zoom out, just to compare. Again, there's the leg. Side-by-side mm -hmm. -side comparison. You can kind of see how that's gonna gonna work. That's probably upside down, actually. So it's like like that. Yeah, and you can definitely exactly. It's the same thing, you know. Obviously, if you take the armor off the Imperial Knight, yeah. but but you have the lower leg with the hydraulic strut exactly as you see here. It goes up to the knee right here. It goes up to the hip joint right here. So yeah. it's all. It's just you know, you can see the scale yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So you can you can kind of get a, a better idea of of how big this thing is gonna be. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then looking at the sprue itself, obviously. Each of those legs uh, has a left and a right piece. So you're, yep. you're going to glue those together. And all these central things in here, this is the pelvis. So you have the yeah. front and back of the pelvis and then the ball joint on top. Uh, and that's what all of the entire yeah. upper chassis 
sits yeah. on. It actually looks like you can you can get some cool poses with that too. Like mm -hmm. if you if you shaved off that nub so that yep. a little bit more fruit. Absolutely. Now be careful if you do that because you're going to need to have the correct kind of glue and right. um, get it positioned correctly. Um, it could <laughs> could be a little little unsteady, but yeah, you can totally do that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So last but not least, I'll take that away. We have the weapon options. The gun, cool the guns. Yes, Very there's exciting. the uh, the melt array, and uh, in this kit, as far as we can tell, the Knight Armager only has these two weapon options. Correct. So there's the the melta, the heat ray, uh -huh. and then the uh, the big uh, chain reaper, not reaper chain blade, but the the, the downsized version of the <laughs> reaper chain blade. Correct. Yeah. And and uh, again, let's go ahead and grab our knight because the yep. the most obvious comparison is going to be. Um, the shoulder armor plate. Okay, shoulder armor plate. Yep. Yeah. So everybody knows what. Well, we have the we have taken off the the gun here. Let me oh yeah. Show this off real fast. So, we got so you can kind of see um, scale versus scale this wise. guy. Yeah. Scale mm -hmm. scale for the gun. And then get the idea because this that would actually probably see the back half there to there and then mm -hmm. the, the front barrel half. Yeah. And then of course the armor plate here. Right, so here's the kind of classic knight shoulder pad, and you can compare that in scale to this guy. Yeah. Again, similar scale. I think that would actually go that way. Oh, yes, you're right. Yep, like that. So you can kind of get an idea of of the, the different scales there, too. So mm -hmm. Yeah, and then again, power fist for the knight, whatever the fist is called there, and and the uh, the chain blades there. Just just to get an, an idea, they've got the, the same kind of ball joint. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And all right, guys. <coughs> yeah, but that's um, that's all the night stuff. Let's go ahead and cut real quick. Oh, do we show the other? There, oh. and then it's also hollow. Of yeah, yeah. The weapons don't have a, any kind of right, interesting right, interior. Right, right. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and pause real fast, and we'll take a look at that uh, new crypt. So here's the new cryptech with the canoptic cape, canoptic cloak. Excuse me. Um, you can see this is actually a, a pretty interesting kit. There's, uh, there's two sprues for it. Um, one for like the base and bottom structure and then one for the body and the, the new cloak, which is pretty neat. And then uh, we'll go ahead and move this one off and we'll take a closer look at this. And then just for comparison's sake, this is the same size. Uh, you can see kind of the body there, torso. Okay. Same size as a, as a regular Necron Lord. He's just more elevated because of the, the, the way that the base is, is set up and posed. Mm -hmm. so. And zoom in there. This really does look like a um, uh, one of the spiders on oh, the back. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. His his entire thing looks like he has a yeah. Yeah, a scare. Uh, not the scarab. The yeah. The a tomb spider. Tomb spider on his back, mm -hmm. which is super cool. That's kind of how he. I mean, it's the same kind of grab tech anyway for the mm -hmm. necrons, which is super neat. And then this piece is really interesting to me too because there's this there's another piece that connects you over here, yeah, which we'll show the, off in a second. The tail. The tail that that helps him raise up, which is super cool. He's got the big war glaive and everything like that too. And then the other side of the sprue. Again, lots of detail in there. You can see all the different uh, plates and, and sections there. It's just, it's a it's a Necron Lord, uh, a Necron Lord uh, um, or a Cryptek that's just been amped up a bit. Mm -hmm. It's very cool looking. And then uh, the next sprue here, here's the other one we were talking about, the kind of the base and stuff like that. Yeah, and this is the big thing that, that's yeah. giving him most of his height is he has kind of a big scenic base. With. Which is super cool. Mm -hmm. I like this, yeah, that tail bit there that's connected to um, like a Necron little, uh, not a pylon, but a, a little thing coming off the ground, and then that's connected down there at the bottom as well to the base. Yeah, and it gives and him that extra height and that extra. Yeah, he's basically line. riding like a little hover, yeah, hover scarab. It's yeah. it's some kind of a thing. It, it doesn't have rules, but basically it's something. That, it's a it's a little construct that's bigger than a scarab, yeah. much smaller. Than a uh, than a tomb spider, and he's riding it. Yeah, and that's super and, cool. and that's why he's so elevated and kind of yeah. up on that base. I like this. I like this model a lot. I can't wait to see it uh, built and painted up because uh, it's it's going to be added to our Necron army. So mm. I like the options of it that it's going to bring too. So it's a cool looking base. I just wonder if that uh, Necron hover thing works on water because you know what they say about hoverboard and water. Yeah, yeah. Back to the future. Anyway, uh, I'm Adam Harry. I'm Larry. <laughs> We're both from Bell Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe, support us on Patreon, check out more videos, and thanks for watching.